Hi, I'm Lisa Nelson, beauty maven and celebrity makeup artist. And today I'm talking about how to use bronzer for definition. So bronzer is a highly effective way to sculpt out your face. And a lot of people think that bronzer is probably just used to give you like a sun-kissed look, but you can actually use it for many different purposes. So I want to show you two ways to achieve that. So we're going to go ahead and sculpt out her face. What I would do, and I have a nice buffing brush, and this is a rather large fan brush upon appearance, but what its purpose is, is just to lay down powders and things like bronzers in areas and buff them in really natural. Because the key with contour is to be able to go back in and make sure that it's nicely um, blended out. There's no hard lines and it looks really natural. One thing that I, want, I want you to consider when you're buying or shopping for a bronzer is you want a really matte finish. You don't want shine and sparkle in your bronzer itself. So we started along the hairline and we're sort of going to, if you'll think of this as framing the face. We want to sculpt out her beautiful cheekbones and her jawline. So I, saw, I sort of start on the outermost perimeter of the face, so that would be the outer part and we're going to frame that way. We're just buffing in this bronzer. And then we're going to go to the cheekbone area and starting at the hairline, just build a pretty shadow there. Remember always that darkness will recede, so we want to create a sinking effect just under the cheekbone here and that's going to give her a more sculpted cheekbone and draw out those. That will naturally pop this area and make this sort of fall in. And again, your key is going to be blending because you don't want any hard line here. This should be something that just looks really natural. With a nice big brush like this, you can buff it out. You could also do a bronzer definition along the nose. So say your nose was wider and you wanted it to look thinner, you could create shadow. She has an adorable nose, by the way. I love this nose. Get sculpted out though if she wanted that to look a little leaner or just pop that area of the nose forward, bring it forward. Again, don't be afraid to go in with either fingertips or a sponge and blend out any shadow. And not only is this going to give her sort of a healthy glow, which is what you can achieve with bronzer, that's the obvious choice of why you'd use it, but you can also use it to contour and sculpt. In a pinch too, like if you're in the morning and just didn't have time before work, you could use some bronzer in place of your eyeshadow. Go ahead and close your eye. You just go in along the brow bone there and just pop it in in the crease in place of the shadow. In this case, she's got some pretty eyeshadow already on with her look, but the bronzer just complements what she already has going. Looks great. So I'm Lisa Nelson, and that's how I would advise using bronzer for definition.